Hey, what's up, guys? Here is the deal. We got another tech for today. Uh, this one is actually pretty dear to me. It's the equivalent of a cat ring swap. So I was made aware of this tech by Stilovsky just recently. He sent me a clip on Discord uh, before he released a vid about it. So uh, I will link Stilovsky's vid in the description because he's, he's the one who made me aware of this. And uh, the person who found this recently was Clay Amour. Claremore f found this way of uh, removing the fall animation, although apparently this has been around in the speedrunning community for quite some time, so I don't really know the person who originally found this, but either way, I'm going to link Steel and Claremore in the description. Um, so here is how it works. Normally, when you fall down something, you get this very long fall animation that plays out, and so that really kills your momentum when you're getting chased by gankers or by anyone really so this is a very very valuable tool for invasion uh, some of you will already be aware that you can you can jump and like crank a bow shot to like reduce the fall animation a little bit right so when you crank a bow shot and you land while cranking a bow shot you can somewhat reduce that fall animation a little bit but that's not what we're going to be talking about today though uh, what I wanted to mention was this one here so when you fall and you time two-handing your bow you completely remove the fall animation so you can time this a bit earlier before you land to cut even more of the fall animation so you end up basically just walking as you're falling uh, if you time it properly like here for instance oh I did it a bit too early let's try to do it perfect just for the sake of uh, presenting it so as you saw there, if you do it too early, you get the full fall animation. So you want to do it right before you finish falling or you're about to hit the ground like that. So you completely remove the fall animation and you can keep your, you can keep running or you can keep uh, dodging and you can keep getting some distance. So this is very useful against gankers. Now you're wondering, yeah, but what about the cat ring swamp? Well, here you go. If say you were to um, if say you were to play and then you're about to fall you can then do a swap to the great bowl and then you two-hand it the moment you're touching the floor and you pretty much get the equivalent of what would be like a cat ring swap as long as you're not jumping off so if for instance you were to jump off here see how the menu is grayed out so you cannot jump um, and then try to swap otherwise that's just not going to work but here it is. You can pretty much uh, sort of cat ring swap by swapping to like a great bow. It's great if you have already like a build that has that like ready. But it looks pretty clean when you do this in action. I'm definitely going to start using this. It's definitely a very useful tool for invasions. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tech. I'm sure some of you knew about this already and some didn't. And now it's going to be more widespread. So again, thank you so much, everyone, and have a good one.